Congress is back in session, meaning impeachment is back in focus for lawmakers. One America's John Hines catches up with Congressman Mark Meadows to talk about some of the recent events. With the holidays now over and House lawmakers returning to Capitol Hill from their recess, One America News caught up with North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows to get his take on the latest developments with regard to Nancy Pelosi, the articles of impeachment, and the recent death of the Iranian General Soleimani. Take a look. I wanted to get your thoughts on these developments with regard to the articles of impeachment. They still haven't moved. And what do you suppose is going on? What is your prediction for how this might end up turning out? Well, I think uh, Nancy Pelosi needs to finish her constitutional duty. Uh, we heard more speeches from uh, Democrats about the Constitution over the last uh, month than we have in the last 10 years. And so you can't vote to impeach a president and then say all of a sudden, hold on, uh, we're going to hold up those those articles and hold up on your constitutional duty. I, I think the pressure will be unbearable. If I had to handicap it, I would say that she will convey those articles over the Senate uh, in the next week or so, and uh, it'll be a very speedy trial. Uh, predominantly because there's no evidence to support why this president should have been impeached in the first place. Do you think she's hanging on to these articles of impeachment because this is a tough sell? I mean, maybe it won't, it, that dog won't hunt in the Senate, as they say? Well, it is a tough sell. I mean, when you, you have the, the slimmest of evidence that uh, they put forth, the American people are not buying it. Uh, my Senate Republicans are not buying it. Uh, even members of her own caucus are not buying it, even though they might have voted for it. Uh, they know that this is, is not uh, uh, really something that, that should have been done. Uh, may, maybe politically it was required of them, but uh, from an uh, intellectual integrity standpoint, uh, on the evidence that we've seen, it shouldn't have moved forward. I do not believe that she's doing that, holding it up for that reason. Uh, I think she thought she could get leverage, and uh, Leader McConnell uh, let her know that uh, he doesn't pay a whole lot of attention to the Speaker of the House. He says that dog doesn't hunt, as they say in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, separate issue, why is there this outcry against the president with regard to this incident with General Soleimani? Uh, the, <laughs> the, the Obama administration used drones in Iran. Sure. Why this uh, such controversy at this time? Well, in, in three, three different countries, President Obama used 571 drone strikes, and we heard not a peep from S Speaker Pelosi. The real reason why we're hearing uh, uh, a lot of noise from my, my Democrat friends on on the left is that their party has lurched to the left. No longer is it good news to take out a terrorist. This guy was a terrorist, was classified as a terrorist. Uh, the the band of uh, military uh, men that he actually commanded uh, were identified as terrorists as well. And so, uh, you know, at what point, how many Americans do you have to kill in order to uh, allow the, the long arm of justice from our United States military to reach out? It, I think 600 is enough. But if it's not, uh, have my Democrat colleagues tell me how many is enough. It, you have to kill 1,000 Americans, 10,000 Americans. You know, at this point, uh, they need to take their uh, hug, hug a terrorist uh, bumper stickers off the back of their car and, uh, and understand that this president did what was best for the American people. Certainly, uh, he did what was needed and necessary. John Hines, One American News, Capitol Hill. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.